Hold on. Did Gary Marshall really pass away? Because Dog Days feels like one of his ensemble holiday comedy pieces, such as New Year's Eve and Valentine's Day and Mother's Day. It feels like one of those comedies, but with no holiday revolving around it. Instead, all the stories are interconnected because the characters are looking after a dog or own a dog, and that's really the only connection. So is Dog Days one of his movies that's been hiding in a vault? Well, it's not, but it feels like it. Like I said, Dog Days is an ensemble piece, so it's several different stories intertwined into one. You've got two rom-com stories, one of which is about a morning talk show host that's getting a new co-host, and originally they do not like each other, but eventually they learn that each other has a dog, and then they start liking each other, and it becomes a typical rom-com. The other rom-com is a young girl who, uh, or young woman, who discovers a dog, a stray dog, a stray chihuahua, uh, uses this dog to hopefully get in with this really hot veterinarian, um, ends up working at a dog shelter, falls for the goofy guy that uh, is in love with her, typical rom-com stuff. There's another story where it's a guy that's part of a band, and his sister is pregnant, and his sister is having twins, and they cannot deal with a dog in the middle of all this chaos, and so he has to watch their dog, but of course they don't allow dogs in his apartment, so he has to keep hiding the dog and making sure the dog is quiet, and then learning responsibility. And then the final story is about this old man who has this pug who runs away, and the pizza boy and him try to search for the dog because it's kind of the pizza because the pizza boy kind of feels like it's his fault and meanwhile the dog is found by a family who had just adopted a little girl and are trying to act funny for the little girl but the little girl isn't buying any of it and the dog brings them together as a family and so conflict of whether they're going to give the dog up, whether the people are going to find the dog, yada yada yada. And like I said, it's all these stories intertwined into one big story, and that's Dog Days. For a movie that's almost two hours long, this movie felt way too long, and at the same time, there wasn't enough substance to it for me to enjoy it. This is one of those ensemble pieces where it has several different stories, but none of those stories feel complete. None of those stories feel like you get something good out of them. They just, they're just surface level, just blessed stories. The acting was completely fine. There was no one that I found to be a bad actor, no one that I found to be a great actor or actress. Uh, there was a few people that had good chemistry together. The rom-com with the host and the co-host, I thought they had chemistry together. They did well. But out of all these stories, the only story that I felt kind of invested in and the only story that felt like it had some depth to it is the story about the guy who loses his dog um, and the dog is found by a family and that dog brings that family together while on the other hand that old man wants to keep his dog, wants to find his dog because it was the last thing um, that his wife gave him and so there was some emotional attachment to that and there was something a little bit deeper and that's as deep as this movie goes when it comes to emotional complexity but out of all the stories that was the one that was getting brushed aside a lot to the point where you almost forget that story's even there until it brings it up again. I'm like, oh yeah, this story's still going, isn't it? Okay. Now where the old man losing his dog is the deepest with the emotion that this movie gets, there was one other scene in this movie that could have gotten emotional for me, and almost did, if it wasn't for the fact that the movie sort of took that away. 
as you'd expect in a movie with dogs, there's probably going to be an emotional scene where a dog dies, and there is a dog that dies in this movie, and it would have had some emotional impact if it wasn't for the fact that it gets quirky at the end of the scene where the dog's passed away and this guy, this veterinarian comes in and sings Amazing Grace and you're like okay that's kind of weird and then they make a joke about that by where it's like the guy's like oh thanks you, you helped me and then he keeps singing Amazing Grace and uh, as far as laughs go there was a few times that I laughed and most of those times was due to the two or three scenes that the dog psychiatrist is in because she had this really dry sense of humor that I thought was actually really good and worked well for the film and there was an interview with a clown that was kind of funny even though it was meant to be the sort of breakup scene for one of our rom-coms which I thought the breakup part of that scene was kind of ridiculous and stupid even though the clown element of that was actually kind of funny there was probably a few other laughs that I had in the movie but the most laughs I had honestly was during the end credits when it was doing the bloopers or the improv scenes where they're just spouting off different types of takes and all the takes used in the bloopers were far funnier than the actual jokes in the movie I feel ultimately I think Dog Days is far too long for the type of movie it's trying to be especially with all the stories being really stretched thin to the point where there really isn't any substance or any depth to any of the stories in this movie it also feels like it has too many endings granted it is a movie with several different stories but sometimes you can still make it to a point where it all feels like it wraps up in one scene I mean there's movies that have done that before especially when this movie has a big event scene where it's like okay everything's gonna be resolved at this dog fair slash fundraiser thing but no uh, that's not the ending scene uh, there's like three or four endings after that for me this was far too cheesy of a movie to really get into or really find enjoyment in and a lot of the problems in this movie a lot of the conflicts really feel like they're things that could just be solved within just like that and really have no conflict whatsoever it's also one of those movies that will just suddenly throw in conflict without setting it up such as the dog shelter suddenly doesn't is gonna get kicked out of the building and doesn't have enough funds they do that in this movie where they have to build a fundraiser in order to save the shelter also for a dog movie that's trying to get dog lovers to see this movie there's the dogs in this movie are pretty much just props they aren't like characters in this movie they aren't things that are important to the movie they're just sort of plot devices and props in order to get the movie going and in order for all the stories to have some sort of connection with each other I don't know what else to say other than it's a long cheesy movie that's lighthearted but very shallow and not much depth to it but it's some people might enjoy it um, I know some of the people in the theater were laughing quite a bit throughout the movie Dog Days is just not my kind of movie I'm gonna give it two stars and that's that's pretty decent for how bored I was cuz I probably should have gone lower so did you see Dog Days what do you think about it go ahead and comment below and if you like this video and you want to see more please subscribe and check out my movie reviews countdowns of previous years of this year of whatever as always, this is Bruce Gifford, and this was Just My Opinion.